a.m. Yeah, I know I'm in New York City. So, um, today, uh, or this morning, um, I had to disclose some very, um, spiritual and possibly empowering information that may be able to help, uh, some who will take the initiative to learn what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna try to be, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to be as wounded or, you know, lengthy as I know I'm gonna do my best to keep it under 15 minutes. So, okay, um, now, I, you know, most of you know how I always talk about my, my, um, my electronic harassment and the, you know, directed energy, frequency manipulation, so lucid dreams, all that stuff, it intensifies during the weekend. Friday through Sunday, it's always, it's always the worst, right? Because, and I think that's mostly because, um, you know, the game stalking, secret society perks, they have normal, regular jobs during the weekday. So then when the weekend comes, they all kind of get together as like a much bigger group, um, combine their devices together, you know, even have like watch parties and whatnot, you know, especially if you live in an apartment building, you know, you trust and believe they probably all, you know, gather together and some in one of the apartments right next to you or above you or, in, or below you and um you know they're basically putting all their heads together to see if they can break you down right now i'm gonna explain my uh my lucid dreams that i had uh this evening right so um uh, I fell asleep on a movie. I forgot what movie I was watching. Uh, oh, I was watching, um, I was watching Wishmaster because uh, I started to, uh, I, I began to start, you know, understanding that many of the spiritual and technological things that are happening to us, they've been, you know, literally put into films for several, several years now. You know, so, um, but, uh, basically, as I went to sleep, you know, and I knew at some point I was in another, you know, dream manipulation, you know, because they always, they have a particular way on how they, you know, start you up for the, for the dream coding, right? So, it's kind of like, when you fall asleep, you kind of know that you're in a sleep, but then all of a sudden, you're your existence or your your energy just feels like now you've been woken up but you're not necessarily fully awakened so it's like you're halfway in between being sleep and awake and then that's when you start to see yourself being visualized or you or you start seeing visualizations of of people places or, or things you know, and that's when you are now entered in what is called the lucid dream state, right? Now, um, that's about 15 minutes, and it's just it's so much time already passed already. Now, um, as I was asleep, um, you know, I understand much about the chakras and things of that sort. And as I was asleep, I kept feeling like heavy, heavy, heavy microwave energy was hitting me in my solar plexus chakra. And um, I could feel myself almost kind of like grunting and like, like as if like, you know, I was kind of trying to fight it off in my sleep. And then I think at some point, you know, I realized um, that I did beat most of it, but some of it was very... Some of it was very um, overpowering, but at the same time, I did not allow fear to set in. So um, at one point, um, the the uh, amplification, the amp, what is it, the amplification, 
or the intensity of the waves start to decrease and they decrease for a, a steady extended period of time until I no longer felt it. So it was kind of like, you know, I believe what they were doing was they're trying to um, just brain map me for new or different pain levels or something like that. So um, what then happened was I woke up and when I woke up, it was, and I looked at the time, it was 4.44 a.m. And that is my angel numbers. You know, those have been my consistent angel numbers for several months now, several months now. Especially as I began to um, research more of the spiritual and technological aspects of what's happening to us. Now, um... Along with that, um, I actually had decided to uh, check my uh, my you know Facebook Messenger, and uh, one of my um, Facebook friends, a, a TI that I've never met, but she you know seems like a very very you know present and formal you know things that I said you know supportive of uh, you know the information that i put out on facebook and things that i said um she posts she sends me a video um uh interview of alana freedom alana freedom and um dark journalist and alana freedom she's known for writing several books about the you know, deep state and um, these old cults and how technology and, you know, is being used to um, become a new doorway for these, you know, dark spiritual uh, entities that are trying to, you know, gain access to the human soul and things of that sort. You know, because they're using these, uh, these, these technologies to first um grab a hold of the pineal gland and then be able to um you know uh basically would be able to remotely monitor the secretion of you know uh of you know hormones and and um yeah basically the secretion of, of hormones or um, chemicals that your body and brain need to, to operate, you know, normally. Um, along with that, you know, they're basically using, uh, these, uh, you know, um, these technologies to, uh, gain access to different, um, energy parts of your body. This is why I explain to people it's very, very important that you learn about chakras. You know, um, if you step aside from the religious aspect and just focus on the spirit, focus on spirituality, step aside from religious, you know, um, aspects and, you know, the, uh, what's the word? Um, the several different ways of belief religions teach you about things but just focus on the spiritual definition of things and how to understand and recognize spiritual um powers that are around you and in you um what i have learned is um well through a line of freedom uh freedom's video and like uh uh, if you go on YouTube, it's called Dark Generous. He just uploaded the video about um, seven, eight hours ago. Um, and um, Alana just happened to say something probably about like 20, 20 minutes into the video. And then she says about how, you know, the technology basically, it, you know, it creates a bridge or it tries to create a doorway into the human soul or energy. And then um, she mentions uh, a certain importance 
to the solar plexus. And then the moment she said that, I thought about my dream. Mind you, I've never seen that video before. But the moment she says the importance of the solar plexus, and I was like, wait a minute, and I'm getting chills right now as I'm saying it. The moment she mentions the solar plexus, and I'm like, I literally just had a lucid dream about them trying to, you know, either steal energy or put an energy into my solar plexus. And, you know, I've been and lucky when I woke up, you know, I started, you know, doing my uh, Wei Chi exercises to try to, or Wei Chi Gong exercises to try to pull out or extract some, at least, if not all, most of this, you know, negative energy that they're trying to put in me. Um, yeah, I really got to watch that video because she, she really hits the nail on the head. And I'm trying my best to, like, um, encourage people to learn about the energy that you have within you. Because if you can't, you know, develop, you know, devices or learn um, to the full extent of the technology that they're, you know, using against us, because we all got to learn what they're using against us and how they're doing it. So if you can learn about the power that you were actually born with because that's what they're coming after they're coming after the very power that you were born with and you can actually ask your guardian angel to show you and lead you and guide you into how to use your power to actually fight back in the spiritual aspect and since you know it's kind of you know, it's very difficult to fight back in the physical aspect because they're basically gaining up on it. You know, um, so what you can do is you can run, um, you know, Qigong exercises or, or meditation exercises to basically, um, strengthen, um, your, your fear, you know. I, I pray, um, probably not, you know, always in the most orthodox way of praying, you know, where you get on your knees and you, you pray every night. I, I pray, you know, wherever I am, however I am, and that's how I pray, you know, um, and then the Spirit still, the Spirit still listens to me, so, you know, and, I mean, to be honest, I haven't been to church in quite some time because, well, I've come to realize that there are a lot of these, you know, these gang stalking Luciferians that's, that's hidden in the churches too. So I kind of just feel like, you know, what, um, the body is a temple, you know, so, um, and God isn't confined to just the wall. You know, God is everywhere. You have to recognize God, but, um, got a couple more minutes left. Now, um, among that, about learning about the energy, I want to um, ask, I want to let people know, um, in the, uh, the interview, Dark Journalist, Athelana Freeman, um, or, or I believe they tried to discuss, is there a way to actually block or um, minimize the amount of, of you know, uh, energy that is received uh, into the mind or uh, the block or block the frequencies that are received into the mind. And I believe yes. And here's how I'm going to explain it. It might sound weird or it might not come out as, you know, fully understandable, but I think if you actually um, try to research it, or you actually try it yourself, especially if you receive VTK, or, or you already, um, know and understand, or, or have the proof that you are hearing the, you know, the wavelengths, uh, or the wave tone, um, or the frequency tone that's, you know, in your mind, now they're trying to attack my mind because they don't want me to tell you this. Okay. So, do you know how, like, when you're trying to read a book, or, um, you're trying to basically, 
um, listen to um, something. You're trying to listen to someone speak in a, in a crowded, in a, a, a noisy environment or whatever the case is. It's like you, you have to like basically block out um, the noise that you don't want to hear or you want to block out the sounds that you don't want to hear, right? That same focus that you put in, like, like let's say you're trying to read a book, right? And it's, and it's kind of noisy. Right? So what you do, there's something that you probably don't realize that you actually do. But it's like a level of focus, right? And in a sense, I've grown to understand it from a physiological aspect. There's, it's like a valve. It's like a valve that you have in your brain and you literally can close that valve and then focus your mind on one on the one thing that you're doing or you could probably focus it on several different things. But what you have to do is be able to it's like close that valve and as I'm as I'm doing it right now, they're trying to transmit so many different frequencies into my mind to stop me from telling you this. There is a way that you need to learn how to close that valve. And then once you learn to strengthen that 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 valve or strengthen uh it, it, it feels it feels like a like a like like a valve, like I'm telling you, it feels like a valve. And you have to learn how to strengthen that 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 muscle or that, that tissue, whatever it is. I have a like, you know, actually looked into that part of the brain that's what i really need to do is find out what that what that is um i'm not sure if it's the pineal gland that i'm that i'm closing up or whatever it is but um it's like closing a valve and um basically when you do that this is what i learned um from from practice 17 minutes high, whatever. <laughs> I tried. Um, so, let's say if you're receiving synthetic telepathy, right? The B2 kit. As you have to remember, words have power to them, sound has energy. On a quantum level, the quantum molecular or atomic name for the energy produced by sound is called phonon, right? Now, for every word that you speak, you know, you know, um, the saying, um, um, there's power in the tongue. For every word or statement that you speak, you are sending energy somewhere. You are directing energy. Now, when you think about how this technology is basically connected to our mind, and then, you know, they have these different, you know, frequency waves that are connected to our auditory cortex, our visual cortex, our, you know, our pineal gland, our somatosensory, our, 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 you know, primary... Um, motor cortex and things of that sort. When they transmit things either through their, through their, you know, tap of the keys or whatever laptop or phone they're using or when they're speaking, when they're speaking and then, you know, as you, as you listen, if, if you choose to listen to what they're saying and all of a sudden you start to feel yourself get lower and lower and lower almost like your energy is just being drained to some type of lower state you have to remember every word and every statement that they make it carries an energy now going back to the idea of the closed valve that focus right this is what I learned I have learned that when I focus, and I've been practicing this focus 24 hours, or at least 
the moment I wake up, I turn it on. Like I close that valve the moment I wake up. And then I, I could keep it on the entire day. I'm still like paying attention, working around, doing things that I normally do. But the effectiveness of those frequencies is not, it's, it's not as, it's not as easily, um, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it, it's not as effective. I don't block, I can't block all frequencies. I'm not trying to say that. But, um, a majority of them I can block, you know. Um, but you got to remember, we're dealing with quantum energy. We're dealing with atomic energy. So we're dealing with not just phonons, you know, frequencies from sound, but we're also dealing with photons. That is the quantum mean for light energy. Because remember, they're attacking us with both sound and light. So from the um, from the phonon aspect, let's say um, for okay, with my you know with the people who are trying to handle my energy and absorb and and, and manipulate my energy, right? Their favorite statements are you know he has no idea or. Um, what's the word, um, the whole city is watching you, or, um, <laughs> it's funny, as I'm saying it, I feel, uh, energy going down, almost as if, like, I'm taking power away from them, um, what's another one, um, we have a setup coming for you, now, every time, that they get to about the last syllable. The very last syllable. After it leaves their mouth. I can literally feel. It's almost, it's like imagine a wave coming. And then it went up when my focus is on. When I have my focus on. That wave of water. And then it crashes up against a rock. That's what it feels like. That's what that energy feels like. It feels like it's slamming up against that valve that, that's closed. But you have to learn how to focus. It's it's like imagine walking around constantly thinking. Or 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 not just constant it's kinda hard to explain, but I think I think when you when you start doing certain things and you start like when you pay attention to what I'm saying you're going to begin to consciously realize that you do it. Because what I'm talking about is something that we probably don't, you know, we don't consciously, you know, pay that much attention to what we're doing. Because I don't think, you know, I don't think the elitists and those who want to manipulate the world, they want us to know what we're doing when we focus like that. So, um... I wonder if I wonder if my microphone can actually pick up their uh, their voices as I'm talking too, because they're they're going off on me right now. They're they're just like teeing off for everything. But anyway, um, so right, um, when they finish like that very last syllable of whatever statement that they're making. There's like a wave. It's like a rush of energy. It's like that, that rush of energy is like flowing to me. So it's like um, whatever the frequency, whatever the frequency they got me locked on, my resonant frequency, they have another frequency that's hidden within that frequency, or like the, I guess you could call it the beat frequency, maybe, or because um, I think my resonant frequency would be the carrier. And then they probably have a, you know, another frequency that's just, just under that. And then it carries it right to me. So, um, the, that energy that they try to, um, use to send to my brain to manipulate my energy, it gets blocked by this valve. Um, 
And then, uh, what else? Yeah, and when they realize that doesn't work, I then also realized that's when they tried to use the uh, um, the light, um, the light beam, and, uh, the light beam frequency, uh, the light beam microwave. So um, basically, like taking like a laser because if if they can't get the um, phonon uh, sound energy to penetrate and into my mind. They'll try to use the light beam to actually see if they can burn or push through that valve to open it back up. And uh, what I'm call, I think one of the best things you can do is um, do detoxes, detox, 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 heavy metal detox, radiation detox, um, fluoride or calcium you know, uh, detoxes because everything that they're doing has a great deal to do with our energy chakras and um, our pineal gland. Um, I'm going to stop here uh, and um, yeah, uh, look into this stuff, man. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, ladies, gentlemen, I'm telling you, before I leave this earth, I need people to know how to do what I'm doing because I have single-handedly been beating my handlers' ass to the point where they needed to go and get reinforcements. They got to get other people to come in and tune their devices into my, into my frequency. They needed to get more and more people. To try to see if they can, you know, um, come in and interfere with, you know, or, you know, joining on my broadcast and, and do whatever kind of like weird manipulating things because the main four that's constantly messing with me, they're struggling, you know, and then they basically have to get other people to jump in. And, you know, to try to see if they can break me down even more. But I'm telling you, I am God willing right now. God is willing me to continue to keep pushing this message out there. Because there is so much that is about to happen that billions of people are not aware of. And then so many of them are going along with it, not even realizing that, um, and I need to look up this, look up this, uh, this name, Armand, um, Alana Freeman, she, uh, Alana Freeman, she, she mentions Armand as a, um, as, a, I think, like a fallen, a fallen angel who basically, um, has the main, um, you know, purpose of trying to, integrate himself into a everything that is human like you know whether it's music film um nanotechnology all kinds of stuff you know things like that so i need to do research on that but yeah please everyone try to learn um what i'm telling you you know learn about qigong or protective way chi learn about you know um that that focus that you actually have when you're, you know, trying to like read and you're like blocking out noise. Pay attention to your body. You know, ask your, ask God, ask, you know, your ancestors, ask your guardian angels to guide you in the understanding and show you how to actually use the power you were born with to be able to fight back because we can fight back on so many different levels, but we have to not allow fear or pain to stop us from being able to, you know, um, you know, uh, master these powers that we were born with. They were being kept hidden or suppressed in us for, for years and years and years because it's, it would interfere with, you know, these dark forces being able to, um, take advantage and use uh, our energy, you know, so, um, I'm gonna end it here.
Uh, as always, I take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. Peace.